thank you all for coming tonight. We have a great show planned for you. My name is Kate. My name is Mia. And we were planning on performing in the show, but we kind of lack in the talent department. Yeah. Um, singing? Oh, no, no, no. Dancing? Maybe, but no. Juggling? Oh, come on, Mio. Comic? No. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, I, it's a good thing that we have great shows tonight with not us. <laughs> I heard a rumor that it is two people's birthdays tonight. Happy birthday, Mango and Mrs. Evans. As per, <laughs> As per request of her mom, here is Frankie Evans singing Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. And now, live from LG, it's Thursday night! Tennessee. Yeah, but all I wrote 
back with me in some sand in my boots. I said, let's go to a party. So we walked back to that beach bar. She said, hey, don't care, boys, drink with me. So we walked out the door. She said, damn, that sky looks perfect. I said, girl, you never seen stars like the ones back home. And she said, maybe I should see them for myself. Yeah, but now I'm dodging bottles in my summer Silverado. Like a heartbroken desperado heading right back to my roots. Something about the way she kissed me tells me she loved Eastern Tennessee. Yeah, but all I brought back with me was some sand in my boots. I said, meet me in the morning. Yeah, she told me I was crazy. Yeah, but I still thought that maybe she'd show up. Oh, but now I Summer and silver ride, like a heartbroken desperado, heading right back to my roots. Something about the way she kissed me tells me she loved Eastern Tennessee. Yeah, but all I brought back with me was some sand in my boots. Yeah, but all I brought back with me was some sand in my boots. Now I've got it, and you can't have 
this person watching me sing Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Tell me, is it worth it?
greaser. I can't deliver you back. Here, I got you these gifts. I'm scared. What about disinfectant spray? We're in hard times. Absolutely not. What about? The perfect steamer. I think you your dress seems pretty steamed. You might want another one. Danny, I'm worried. I'm cutting this off. Wait, Goodbye. I have one more. Oh, Sandy, come on. I'm hopelessly devoted to you. Well, now next up we have the teacher fan performing You Should Be Dancing by the Bee Gees. I should be dancing with Sandy. <laughs> Good evening, Los Gatos. Now, we've been real polite this evening, but now we need to make a little noise. Pretty good. I need you all to get on your feet because we're not going to be sitting, we're going to be dancing. You got that? Now, now, we need to do a little warm up here. We need to do a little warm up here. I need you to say, yeah. yeah! Pretty good. Yeah! Yeah! Now we're gonna go a little higher. I wanna say, yeah! 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 Ooh, pretty good. Pretty good. Maestro, whenever you're ready.
I guess that's just the cowboy in the soul. A coffee drinking problem. Every morning I have to have a cup of coffee. Whether that's me meandering through the streets to a cafe and watching people struggle to get their kids to school on time and work with their cars, or it's me waiting for my kettle to hiss and scream at me so I can pour it into my French press and wait for my coffee to roast. I have to have a cup of coffee in the morning. I'm addicted to coffee. I'm addicted to the late Saturday mornings when I don't wake up till noon and even then I can sleep in for another hour or two. Or I don't have to do anything but pick a cup of coffee from my kitchen and sit on the porch and watch the rolling green hills roll by. Listen to the carnals, the finches, the sparrows, the woodpeckers peck, peck, pecking away. I don't have to do anything but pass the time. I'm addicted to those mornings. I'm addicted to the early rush mornings of the weekdays, where I'm struggling to get myself and my younger brother to school on time. But before that, I have to win an internal battle because my bed is warm and everything else is not. But it's made a little easier by having a cup of coffee. So I walk to school with a black thermos or a pizza cup if I'm feeling so indulgent. I'm addicted to those mornings. I don't know why I like coffee so much, but perhaps it's because it's bitter. Or it's warm and it feels like a sunbeam on my face when everything else feels like a cold winter day. But not a winter where it's pretty and delicate and covered in a fine layer of snow or where the icicles are softened into lollipops. No, a winter where everything is deadly and dangerous and the icicles are hardened like daggers. Perhaps it's because coffee is a constant in my inconsistent life. I can make a calendar based off coffee, like the Aztecs did with the stars, but with me, with coffee. Perhaps I could do that. Perhaps it's because for me, coffee reminds me of everything in my life that I love so dear. The way I drive my brother to school in the morning and talk about things we never used to talk about before. But I always end up spilling coffee on my jeans, so I end up walking around with a suspicious brown stain on my leg. Or the textbook dates with my friends when we're shoving equations and informations down our throats so rapidly we try to use coffee to make it a little easier on the digestive system. Or the girlfriend, my girlfriend, and when we go on dates and we talk about everything and nothing at the same time, and those are the most important conversations to me, and we do it over two identical cups of coffee because somehow, miraculously, we have the same coffee order. Perhaps it's because coffee is the cocoa-colored lens that covers my glasses and the honey that drips from my lips as I look around me and I see the world in beautiful shades of brown and gold. And I see the way that people love each other and the way they love the little moments in their lives that sometimes they don't think about because, oh, that happened yesterday, instead of that happened yesterday. Perhaps it's because of that I love coffee, but I'm also addicted to it. You can tell me that, I'll agree with you. I get headaches when I don't have it, my hands will shake if I have too much, and my anxiety, oh, it'll skyrocket. So, I'm addicted to coffee. If you try to tell me that, yeah, I'll agree with you, but if you try to tell me that's a problem, that it's a problem the way I see the world through my coffee-colored lenses, and it's a problem with the way I live my life, and I see love around me everywhere because everyone has those moments, those little romanticisms that we all hold so dear but we never really think about. If you tell me that's a problem, I could never see why, because to me, coffee is a memory. To me, coffee is love. I've always 
braving the cold But just this once I'm starting to think I'm getting much too old for this Wish you sat across the room and not right next to me You were hard to miss And your coffee burnt my tongue But I was already too cold to get more ice Wish I could say that you were nothing important But I'd let you fool me twice